Okay, so next topic, what we are going to do is we are going to do goods receipt. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, so we are we are going to cover a very important topic. So actually, these are three topics combined in P2P cycle. We are going to cover first goods receipt, second invoice verification, and also along with that payment processing. So guys. First day we had covered P2P cycle, if you remember. In P2P cycle, on the same day, uh, if you have seen seven steps, fifth, sixth, seventh step, what was those? GR, invoice, and payment processing. So we will try to cover these at a stretch, okay? So in the very same class, I told you, these all work are done by separate teams. It's not the same team who is working in this, okay? So now, how we are going to carry out this process? So let's go with goods received. Now, goods receipt is known as GR. Goods receipt, goods received, or goods received note, GRN. So, what is goods receipt? Once a supplier supplies you the material, you have to take that material in your warehouse. You need to make an entry of that material in your warehouse. Making the entry of the material is nothing but what? GR. So, guys, you have to check the material, whatever material you have ordered, you have to check it, whether whatever you have ordered, it has come in correct quantity or no correct quality or no whatever, whatever, whatever the thing. So all these things, whatever you do here to make a material inside your storage location to invert a material, that is nothing but, nothing but what? GRN. Okay. So we are doing it from an end user point of view. If you go for a consultant, there are not many accounting things also in GRN. So GRN in simple words is what? Inverting of material. In where? Storage location. Understanding. So obviously, when you are doing something in SAP, there comes a T code. Okay. So what is a T code to create a GR? MIGO. So you can call it as Migo, 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 whatever you want, you can call it as. If you see a PO T code, what was the purchase order T code? ME21M. How will you amend the purchase order or edit a purchase order? ME22. And how will you display it? But here there is no one. So there is no two, no three. So if you want to create a GR, if you want to cancel a GR, you want to display a GR, everything should be done with the same T code. What is that? MIGO. Okay. So goods receipt guys, with what reference you are going to do this goods receipt? Correct. So guys, we have ordered the material. Once you order the material, we get the material. So to do a goods receipt, the reference is what? Purchase order number. According to the PO number, we are going to invert our material into our warehouse. Okay. So now what we have seen, goods receipt is nothing but what guys? GRN. The T code to create a GRN is nothing but what? MIGO. And GR is nothing but you are inverting the material into your warehouse. Okay. So GR, by what reference you are going to make it? Purchase order number. So now whenever you get the material, you are inverting the material. Yes or no? So that means you are stocking the material. So, yeah, so there will be different stock types in SAP. There are too many stock types in SAP, around 8 to 10. In GR, we will come across three stock types, which I might have told you before this also when I taught you stock check topic. So, the first stock type is nothing but unrestricted use. What do you mean by unrestriction? Unrestricted? No, so you can ignore my spelling if it is wrong. No restriction. Second is what? Quality inspection. Material is under check. Third is block stock. Don't want to use, I can say. So if I order some quantity of material, suppose I get the material and I that is a trust, he's a trusted supplier, he's a trusted vendor. From year on year, he's supplying me the material. I won't check it directly. I'll start using it. So such stock where you're going to put directly to unrestricted use. If your vendor, like first time vendor, very costly material, you're going to put it for first, first what? Quality inspection. If the material is, you have got the material, but you don't want to use it as, as of now. What you'll do to that such, what you'll do to such materials? You'll keep it to block stock or maybe it is damaged also. You can put it in the block. So in short, what is block? Which you don't want to use. What is quality inspection? Which is under check. What is unrestricted use? Obviously, you want to use that particular material. Any doubt till here, guys? Okay. So now, next thing, very important in a GR. If I order 100 pieces of material, if I order 100 pieces of material, 
is it mandatory that vendor should send all hundred at once? No, right. So sometimes what happens? You order some material, vendor calls up and he says, "Sir, I don't have hundred quantity as of now. I have eighty quantities. I will send you eighty, and after few days I will send you twenty. Is it okay or no? It is okay. So he will send you how much first? Eighty. Will you take it inside or no? Yes. That means what you are going to do? G R. Next week another twenty will come. Will you take it inside or no? Yes. Again, what you are going to do? Yes. GR. So how many times you did G R? But how many times you have created a P O? Only one time. Hundred. That means what? For a single P O against a single P O, you can do multiple times what? Understand? Next. Few exercises also I'll give you in GR. There are two other tricks also. So those I want you to do in exercise. Explore a bit. Okay. So that's a part of exercise. Later we will see. Next very important thing in GR is what is this movement type? If in interview they ask you question, what is the movement type to do a GR? Your straightforward answer should be one zero one. Understanding? Now my question to you guys: What is the T code to create a PO? Me twenty one. I'll ask you why. Is it a correct question? No, because T codes are standard. I have told you. Similarly, I can't ask you if you answer me one zero one is the moment. I can't ask you why it is one zero one. It is a standard moment type. Remember this, okay? So whenever in GR, if you want to move the sorry, whenever you want to move the material in SAP, there is something which is known as what movement type. Guys, this is very important. Try to understand. So. For end user, obviously it is not important. From consultant point of view, important. I have few things I'll tell you. In SAP, there are around five hundred movement types. In SAP totally. In SAP MM, there are around forty movement types. In SAP MM, our model. In end user, there might be around fifteen movement types. Should you buy at these fifteen movement types? Yes, but not for end user. Not required. Never they are going to ask you the question. Out of the blue, if they ask you any movement type, it is of this topic itself. What is this GR? What is the movement type to do a GR? One zero. Can you buy at this one movement type at least? So if you go for a consultant, you have to buy at all the forty movement types. Now, what is this movement type? Now you may not understand even if I explain you this. Not required for you as well, but I'll just try to give you an overview in simple words. Now I have a material. Okay. Uh, I have ordered a material. Who is supplying me that material? Vendor, so vendor supplies me that material. Is it moving or no? From where to where? Vendor's place to my place. I take it into my one warehouse. This room is my one warehouse. And next, there is one more warehouse. Can I shift from this warehouse to that warehouse? Yes. From one plant to another plant? Yes. What you are doing here? Again, you are moving the material. Now here in GR, we have seen three stocks. Correct. I take the material in quality inspection. What do you mean by quality inspection? Checking. Life long will you keep checking? No. Some day you will check. You will get a result. If the material is good, use. If the material is damaged, block. Again, what you are doing? You are moving the material from one place to another place. Guys, these all movements of a material you are doing physically. What do you mean by physically? You are lifting the material and keeping it there. You are lifting the material, placing it here. You are doing it physically, but ultimately everything should be updated in SAP. How SAP will come to know okay, that you have moved the material from A point to B point? It is with respect to what, guys? If I give movement type as one zero one, system will understand that it has to do what now? If you give movement type one zero two, then something else. One zero three, then something else. This way, how many movement types you have? Five hundred plus movement types you have in SAP totally. So movement types means what? For every movement of material, there is a unique number. I'm saying unique movement type. This one zero one is for what, guys? GR. This one zero one won't be repeated anywhere else. It is only for what? GR. That's it. Any other movement, other number. So that way, how many movement types we have in end user? Fifteen. For consultant. And overall five hundred plus. So we, as an interview point of view, for end user, this one moment may be asked, but that is also relevant. So any doubt in this? And once you create a GR, you will save the GR. Once you save the GR, what will get generated, guys? Correct number. So that is known as GR. Goods save node. Goods save number. What you, uh, you saved a PO. What got generated? You saved a PR. What got generated? Similarly, GR is saved. System will give you the number. 
these numbers are done by consultant not by end user okay any doubt in this guys understood okay so we will go for next in this only we are still in gr what do you mean by bol okay bol means bill of lading so all these things we are not going to enter as of now we are not working on a real time scenario but these things may be there in a real time scenario bill of lading means if your supplier is supplying you material through ship through ship ocean okay so this is the number which is given to the carrier okay master of the ship will be there right so you are giving him the proof see this is the material what i am loading in your ship and this is the details of all the materials please sign it and or will you go randomly and keep your material and run away can you do that way no right so you have to give the proof to the carrier or to the master of the ship while loading it and even while unloading it that will be signed again by the receiver so that is nothing but what bill of lading go to google read in one way what is bill of lading next delivery note so delivery note is nothing but on that same ship you are sending the material suppose you have a box of material on that box you will place that delivery note what what does a dl consist delivery note what all the materials are there inside that particular whatever what you say the packaging okay quantity how much that will be there in your delivery note so once i receive the sometimes i think i don't know this uh, i never order online actually till now but you might know once you get that box or something which you order there might be something of what about that packet you will have a slip right maybe uh, attached and there might be the material what is inside that also so that is nothing but like, like a delivery note or you may have a barcode whatever it is a delivery note then one more thing you will have ship to address and bill to address this you google in one line also guys ship to address bill do you know what is ship to address bill to address what is ship to address where it needs to be shipped now you are at your home you are at your home you ordered a material to your home where it comes to your home that is ship to address where the material is getting shipped and you are paying in from your home home only that is bill to address where is that also your home only so bill to address and ship to address are same in this case many times it will be same only sometimes it will be what different that we are asking the material at some other location and we are billing it from somewhere else so that time bill to address will be different than ship to address will be different okay so any doubt in this gr and this understood now we'll go for the next next is invoice verification and let me make it very clear guys in invoice verification in interview there are 10% chances that you may get an interview on invoicing and accounting pay accounts payable can we face this interview yes are our students working in this yes if you go to a company like johnson control around 20 students of, of ours are working only in invoice and accounts payable but have they learned in a uh, fico module no have are they from accounting background most of the people are gone but still manage to get selected why because invoice and accounting i will give you a fixed set of questions in whatsapp group after the class only those questions will be asked for invoice so if your interview if your interview is on invoice verification only google those questions and write down the answers at the end means whenever your interview is scheduled during that time you see no other question will be asked first question in interview have you worked in invoice verification you should say no have you worked in accounting no you did not had that access but i have total knowledge of it i am trained in it so i know the things if you give me a chance easily i can work without any training and also some exposure some working exposure i have towards invoice which i can tell you that way you have to say and whatever i am going to tell you same thing you have to just buy it and copy paste over there when you will say okay so let's see what is invoice okay. what is the invoice first of all bill if you go to a hotel you eat something you get a bill that is nothing but what you know will you pay it blindly no right you if you eat something of 5000 rupees at least once i at least check okay so what you are going to do whatever you ordered bill is correct or no if it is correct then only you will make the what if bill is not correct what if bill is not you verify and bill is not correct then correct you block that bill okay block means in hotel we won't block but i'm saying in sap we block the bill we hold the bill email to the supplier again and tell you these are the mistakes give me a revised invoice check the revised invoice and then make the 
payment to the supplier. General thing, right? Here in SAP also same thing happens. On a daily basis, hundreds of invoices gets processed, thousands of invoices gets processed yes, on a daily basis. Okay. Sometimes automated, sometimes manual. So many times there is a separate team which is known as block invoice team to check your what? Invoices. Their job is to check or validate what? Your invoices itself. Nothing else they do. So why a bill is blocked? Why invoice gets blocked? So let's see the reasons why invoice gets blocked. First reason. Quantity mismatch. Yes or no? What do you mean by quantity mismatch? Let's understand. I ordered something 100 pieces and in bill it is 98 pieces. Is it correct? Quantity mismatch. Will you make the payment? No. Hold the payment. Recorrect and then process it. Next, why do you block up? Price mismatch? Yes? Okay. Duplicate invoice? For the same order, he has given two bills. So you have to verify the bill, which is duplicate. You have to hold it again. So duplicate bills also can come to you. Faulty material or again, what you need to do? Block the invoice. Okay. Line item mismatch. Now what do you mean by line item? I ordered five pieces. In bill, there are six pieces. Oh, sorry, in, I ordered five materials. In bill, there are six materials. Are the line items matching? Whatever you ordered. Or so again, what you will do? Yeah. Block the invoice. And block the invoice, verify it against the vendor, and then process. Understanding your own base. So this only we are going to tell in interview. Next thing. Sometimes it can happen so. Bill is correct. And your order is wrong. Can it happen? Means you have ordered, but your price in the order is wrong and the price in the bill is correct. That also can happen. So now whose mistake is suppliers or ours? Ours mistake. What will you do? Already the material has come, everything has come. That time you have to amend your PO to match the invoice. Correct? You have to edit the PO, but directly can you go and edit? No, because already material is PO is created, it has sent, material has come, and now it's the billing time, right? So that time you cannot edit it. You have to take the approval and amend. Understanding? So simple word. What I do? I'm I have the knowledge on invoicing. Uh, I have worked a bit also on this invoice blocking process. So whenever a vendor sends a bill, invoice team is verifying the bill. And sometimes due to price mismatch, quantity mismatch, they are blocking the bill. If the issue is from the supplier side, we are emailing the supplier and taking the revised bill. If the issue is from our side, with necessary approvals, we are doing the PO amendments. This should be your answer in interview. Understanding? So this is very important, guys. Now, how do you process an invoice in SAP? In SAP, to process an invoice, the T code is MI. PO. This is known as PO invoice. What is this known as, guys? PO invoice. There are two types of invoices. One is a PO invoice, and one more is a non PO invoice. To process this FB60, we are not going to do this. This is done by which team? Accounting team. Miro also is done by accounting team. But what is non PO invoice? PO invoice means you have ordered, you have got the bill. Barabar? Correct. You pay the electricity bill. Correct. You got the electricity bill for your company. Have you ordered the electricity? Have you ordered every month? No, right? But you have got the bill, right? For your consumption. Which type of bill it is now? Which type of invoice it is now? Non PO because we haven't ordered. Process such type of invoice. What is the T code? FB60. To process the regular invoice, what is the T code? V. And then, so what we are going to use now? Miro. We are not bothered about what? Non PO because we are raising a P. Listening or no. So any doubt in the invoice block reasons? How do you block an invoice? Again, the T code is same. We don't yet tell you how to block it. Okay. Now, release a blocked invoice. Now I block the invoice. Galti ho gaya. By mistake I blocked. Or whatever I blocked, I got the reason. Now it's correct. Then I want to release it. How to release block invoice? The T code is MR, DR. To release the block. Whatever you have blocked, you want to release, you can use this ticket. Again, not what an important thing at into because we are not saying that we are working in us, but all knowledge we have. So because of that, we have to answer all these things. Okay. Display invoice. MIR4. I have created an invoice. I want to see 
what it is now mi code now when i am teaching you this thing i don't have a real bill with me so we will assume a few things and we will complete this exercise okay and whatever we are doing for now it is all gr based invoice process means what guys we are assuming means we are saying the system that if gr is done then only what i am going to do invoice but always it's not true sometimes it may so happen now she first is giving me some she is going to give me some material she says no first give me the money then i'll give you the material so what is happening here first first invoice and then gr on order so such type of things also will be there but most of the times in company it will be what gr based invoice processing okay so miro mrbr mi r4 next i am again telling you there are multiple interview questions but those interview questions are only for accounting so i'll give you later and then you can only google those during your interview if you want to do that next is payment processing so obviously done by finance team so in payment there is basically uh, there is a bank method to which they are doing the payment to whom guys supplier so there is automatic payment run automatic payment run app it is known as this system is automated automatically the payment is sent to whom suppliers bank how do you make a payment to the supplier usually it is what automatic only but through sometimes neft also you can do rtgs some wire transfer wire payments also will be there and for international suppliers there will be iba and international bank account number through which your payment is triggered to whom guys vendor or suppliers okay and then your process gets to a closure why because whatever you have requested ordered got the material check the bill and you have made the payment to whom guys the made the payment so this job is known as invoicing and accounts payable why accounts payable you are paying the money to whom to vendor is it your liability or your asset like udhari right you have to pay that is your liability from whom you get the money customer what that is known as accounts receivable that is your asset because you are going to get them so this as of now what we are doing guys accounts payable so accounts payable means what you are making a payment to the supplier so any doubt in this guys now there is 200% one interview question which is asked means it may be there in your resume also when we prepare but anything if they ask you on invoicing this question this answer should be put by you even if they don't ask you directly you have to tell this answer now what is that two way match po three way match po and four way match po four way is not used so you can ignore okay two way definitely they will you have to tell you are matching po and three way po gr material four way you can ignore okay what is the two way match po see I, we get a po sorry we ordered a material you got the material okay can you touch a material can you touch a material or no i ordered this phone can you touch this or no or is it invisible you can touch it okay i have a car i did servicing for that car go and touch that service can you touch it? can you touch or no no right so service can you touch no service is intangible always remember product is tangible product means something you can touch service is something which you cannot so जिसको टच ही नहीं कर सकते उसका जी आर हो सकता है क्या वॉट डू मीन बाई जी आर जस्ट नॉट कम्प्लीटेड गुड सिस्टम गुड सिस्टम इन यूर माई सेंटेंस वॉज वॉट आई है इन वर्डिंग ऑफ वॉट सो जी आर इज डन इन केस ऑफ वॉट मटीरियल प्रोडक्ट लेटर वी विल ऑर्डर अ सर्विस ऑल्सो आई हैव ए सी इज इट अ प्रोडक्ट पीओ और अ सर्विस पीओ आई वॉन्ट टू बाय अ ए सी इज इट अ प्रोडक्ट पीओ और अ सर्विस पीओ product because you can touch a ac for that ac only we require servicing which type of po will you raise service. can you touch that no right so in case of service will you do gr no you cannot touch then how will you invoice it if no invoice then you cannot do 
GR. So for that, there is a separate process, but is there GR? No. So in case of service PO, what you're going to do guys, two way match, what you're going to verify order bill. That's it. In case of three way PO, how much material has come that is GR and also the invoice in case of product, it will be how many? And four way which you can ignore is PO, GR, invoice and inspection document. So guys, here it is something confusing also which you can forget. I have written again what here? For two way also I have written material. But you just remember two way is for service, three way is for material. Low value material. Now what do you mean by low value material? Yeah. If I order nut bolt screw, will I order one nut in company, big company, in big plant? Will I order one nut, one bolt? No, right? I'll order in turn. Will you keep on checking the, this, like how many bolts have come? We'll just take the weight and take it inside. So in such case also, we are not checking the quantity. We are just checking the order and bill because we know we, I ordered one lakh nuts, maybe four or five, maybe less or four or five, maybe more. In such low value materials also, you can do a two way match. But now you remember what is a two way match? You are verifying the PO and invoice. Uh, for service orders and three way match PO, GR and invoice, which is done in which case guys, any doubt in this understanding. So this is very important. So now I'll totally rephrase a interview point of view, how to answer for invoice. So you haven't worked in invoice, but you have assisted the invoice team for the day to day process, as well as you have total knowledge on invoicing process. Even if you give me a chance, I can easily work in invoice processing. So what an invoice team does, whenever you have an invoice, our job is to verify the invoice against the PO. So if the issue, like we do a two way match, two or three way match, depending upon the type of order. If the issue is from the suppliers and we hold the invoice and we get the revised bill from the supplier. If the issue is from our side, we do the PO amendments with approval and manage process the invoice. There can be a lot many times where invoice is wrong. Why it may be wrong? Because of quantity mismatch, price mismatch, line item mismatch, duplicate invoices, faulty material, wrong material. Because of all these things, you may block the invoice, get the revised bill and process the invoice. So the T code what we use in SAP to process the invoice, PO invoices, MIRO. So all these things I know, I know how to process also, but still I did not have the access because I was majorly working in P2P procurement to PR to PO process. This should be your question answer for that particular invoice. After that, they will ask you interview questions also on invoice. What is a credit note? What is a debit note? What is a credit memo? What are the GST tax code? So for that, I will send you the list. What questions they will ask for to Google it. Okay. So now let's see a total process now. Okay. Let's have a quick understanding. Now guys, tell me what first document you created. PR or first GR. Yeah. Okay. So what is the T code? One and who creates a PR? Maybe someone working in production. But once the PR is created, it goes for what approval? What it is known as release also. So production head approves the PR. What all things a PR contains? Material, quantity, delivery date, plant, storage. You save what you get? Yeah. PR number. That PR is created, approved. Then it comes to which department? Purchase. Okay. In SAP, we call it as what? Purchase organization. Purchase organization, what they do first? Validate. What they validate? Quantity. Price. Correct. Price means quote. Quotation will be there. For now, you can ignore. I told you. Quote. We, all things are matching with the quote or no. Delivery date is realistic or no. Unit of measure is correct or no. Address is properly updated or no. Everything is fine. Then purchase department converts the PR into? What is the T code? Yeah, which comes here itself. Correct. So quantity means what? You are checking the previous stock in MMB and processing the PO. Okay. So ME 21 and you create in a PO reference to what? PR. So PR number. So with reference to PR, you are creating a PO. What extra thing you are giving in PO? Once you save the PO, what gets generated? PO number. PO is sent to whom again? Approval. What it is known as? release procurement head account head depending upon the price and once everything is done PO is sent to whom via how once the PO is sent to the vendor what you do order after that follow up with emails and all <clears throat> once the material reaches your uh, warehouse what will you do goods received so GRN so what is the t code for that 
M I K O. So here your reference is what P O number. Unrestricted use quality inspection and dog stock. What is the movement type? One zero one. Once you save a G R, what gets generated? G R number. Your stock increases or decreases? Increase. Again, you can do a stock check. What is the T code? M M P. And finally, what you are going to do? Invoice and payment. What is the T code? M I R O for P O invoice and non P O invoice F B sixty. But we are bothered about P O or non P O. P O. So Miro. And here, what you are going to do? Two way or three way match. If everything is fine, you are going to make a payment. How? N E F T R T G S wire transfer I B A N. Okay. Understanding. And all these things, if you want to see, see, I told you in the very first class, there is a one team who is creating a PO. There might be a separate team or a separate company who is doing the GR. There might be a separate team who is doing the invoice. You create a PO after that, you want to see what all happened to your PO. Was the GR done? Was the invoice done? That is known as PO history. What it is known as? PO history. So you can see your PO, what all, has, what all has happened to your PO. How you can see the PO history? You can go to the header data of the PO. You know header data, right? Okay. So header data of PO. Here you will have an option. Or else you can go to PO and here item, the last tab, what you have seen. Here there will be an option. Here you can see with the numbers, what all things are there. Understanding guys. So this is the proper theoretical explanation for GRN and what guys? Invoice. Okay.